just a review of what we did yesterday, but a slightly different method. So um, here we have it. Uh, this is the, uh, let's see here. This would be, you want to, are you gonna be able to keep your notes too? Or are you just gonna watch the picture, read the picture and do the notes or? Yeah. All right, it's worth uh, 45, this is a lot of steps. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna leave it to me. That's why I said, so you can record and then do your work later. Or you want the points, or how you wanna do this? Mm. You don't, you, I mean. Can I record? Yeah, I said that, but I mean, yeah. I'm just gonna have to go back and, I don't know, do that sign later. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, somebody wants to read it for them, or are you going to read it? Yeah. An, an electron moving part, what's that word? Perpendicular. Perpendicular to a magnetic field of 6.98 times 10 over ne negative 3. Tesla follows a current path of circular, circular path of ratio, radius, radius 3.33 millimeters about 0 0.13 in, right? Inches. Right. inches. Yeah. What is the electron's speed? Okay. You're talking about speed, we're well, just talking about something in terms of... All right, so understand the speed is almost the same as saying velocity. So velocity is, it has a direction. So if I said, for instance, that Trayvon was running at about 33, it's pretty fast, but let's just say five meters per second, that's a speed. Now, if I said Trayvon was going five meters per second due east, that's a velocity or vector. So we hope you understand the differences. So when they say speed, don't get confused. Now, let's say delivery you've already written down what you need. If I were you, I'll turn to page 800. And you can see here that this is talking about circular motion. And if you notice, certain parts of the circle are perpendicular. So that's why we're talking a lot about perpendicular nature in terms of our electrons. So if you want to read about it, you can, but just focus on the, the notes. And if you want to see the problem, all the steps are not fleshed out on 801. I'm going to show you the rest of the steps. So let's talk about what each of these are, right? This is measured in terms of, if we got kilograms. Radius is measured in terms of only meters. When we talk about velocity, remember I just said, it's going to be meters per second in some direction. This Q here is for charge, coulombs is how it's measured. And then when we talk about the B field or magnetic field, we talk about Tesla's. That was the answer to Trayvon's question earlier. Because he said, oh, I looked it up and I found a car. Well, I'm talking about what a Tesla is on the magnetic field. So make sure you use that for your, do, uh, for your answer definition. All right, now what are known values? Let's break this down. So what do we know? You ask the question or you know? Um, MG is, yeah, MG. I mean, magnetic field. So what did they give you? Six point. You said magnetic field. Magnetic what field. What part of this equation is magnetic field? Um, we don't have a lot of time. We keep forgetting. Tesla. Yeah, Tesla. So that's your magnetic field. You can tell, look at the end of that number. It says Tesla, right? Uh-huh. So you know, P is equal to, that's why I wrote what each of them means. So you can pick the problem apart. And that's 6.98, right? And times 10 to the negative third Tesla. Okay, what else did we get? If you look at the problem slowly, you'll see that uh, you have a radius, R. Now other values I gotta give you because you might have forgotten from yesterday. The problem as soon as you know these, because they, they do a little bit of chemistry with these masses and charges. So I'll give you what those are, but the other number they give you here is 3.33 millimeters, and that's R. We can't use millimeters, so we have to convert that. Times 10, I'm going too much, millimeters and M. But we need meters, right? So we have to convert that where a milli drops off. Milli means times 10 to the negative third. R is 3.33 times 10 to the negative third meters now. Right? And then continuing on, you need some other values. So another value is, of course, your charge. That's Q. Right? And they give you a magnitude because we're talking about the electron mass on a regular uh, scale. 
and that'll be, uh, uh, was it 1.6 Q is equal to 1.60, there it is, times 10 to the negative, is it 19? Yeah, 19 coulombs. Okay? And then to give you a mass here, this is the mass of the electron uh, that they measured a long time ago. And that's 9.11, right? So then 9.11, I think it was times 10. It's a pretty heavy little thing, or a pretty small thing, because it's negative. So times 10 to the negative 31st power, uh, that's kilograms. Okay? So I'm trying to see if we got everything. Let's see, we got L, B, we got a 5 B. That's our speed, right? The speed of the electron. We got M, we got 5 B, we got R, Q, B. I think we're ready to solve for velocity using our algebra skills. So let's go ahead and do that, right? Trey, you ain't bring no phone with you, did you? Yeah. You did? Oh. Where's it at? It's in a bag. Uh, it's, it's in a gross bag. Okay. So let me set this up for you. We're going to do some algebra on this. So take this equation here, all right? It looks scary, but all you're doing is solve for velocity. So what do you do? Just write out your steps. So step one. It's really only one step. You can plug your numbers. Solve for your velocity of the electron. To do that, let's take this equation, and that was m times velocity divided by r is equivalent to your absolute value of q times your b field. All right, we're going to slowly move everything up to the other side and leave b by itself. Luckily, B is already over here, so we don't have to reverse the equation when we're done. All right, so come down to iteration. We have M times B over R is equivalent to your absolute value Q times B, right? I'm going to slowly get everything over here, this side of the equation over there, so we'll start with M, because M is next to it, right? So to do that, I can just say, hey, since this is multiplied, I'm going to divide by, so I can just do this. If you know what you're doing, say, hey, I'm going to divide by M, let's do the one side. Other. I can now cross these two out. Okay. Don't be scared. It's a little bit advanced mathematics. Come down one. Rewrite. We end up with B because M's cancel. B over R is equal to absolute value Q now times your B field divided by your mass. I'll write this again and solve. And then the last step is plug in the numbers. You're probably going to work the problem over this way. So we finish. So, next iteration, let's write it as we're getting close to our velocity. Now, what do we do? Think about it. The only thing that's blocking us from start finishing off is getting R over there, and R is being divided. So, I'm going to do the opposite of division, multiplication. So, we're going to multiply, move this over for a second, by our R value. Let's do the one side, come over here, do the other. We can now cross out our R's, and B should be by itself, so it's pretty right. This is a step, by the way. So that means B is equivalent to, this is a lot, Q times B, and all of this is pretty much your mass multiplied by your R, right? You could say all of this is up top. You can go ahead and make that easier on your this. I mean, we both are the same. Let's say all the one. So you could just say this if that makes you feel better. Right? Now, we're going to plug in our numbers and we're going to do it. So we'll come over here and rewrite. That means velocity is equivalent to, let's draw a nice little bar there because it's lots of right. We have the absolute value of Q, which is this. So we'll use parentheses. Parentheses is 1.60 times 10 raised to the negative 19th power, and that's a cool, I'm gonna put a C. What else, times your B field? Well, that was a yield of 6.98, and a three Tesla, multiplied by, we have one more value here, do not use this millimeter, use the regular meters, and that is, for C's 3.33 times, 
10 raised to the negative third meters, all divided by our mass here. And that was given as 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. That's a lot. I'm sure you said it. Ms. Tati, want me to your calculator? You want to do the calculations? Uh-uh. I don't want to get to like 20 points for this joke. It's a lot. If you get it right. So I, I can do this in Google. It's being recorded right now. I'm going to use my calculator. Oh. Somebody else will get it. Let me move this B over some. All right? Uh, 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 I'm, I'm good. Like, this is a lot. I'm good. Today. I'm good today. Yeah. She's good. She's squinting and stuff. Like, uh, where your glasses go, girl? I have a contest. Oh, I didn't know. So you take attention here. Um, a Tesla breaks into two dimensions. Uh, when everything cancels, you'll be left with meters per second. Right? So let's see who gets it. Who can do it with her? So she got it. Or you can bring your calculator up if you think you got it right, Gabby. So what am I going to do with her? And now I'm going to meet my correction button. That saves my life almost all the time. 1.6 is due to the numerator. 0 times 10 raised to negative 19. And times 6.98 times 10 raised to negative 3. Times Okay, thank you. You want to get the notes from somebody else later, all right? Type in there uh, 45 for you to get, dude. All right. Uh, Let me see what you got. Dun, 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 dun. Right? Moment of suspense. Bye, See y'all later. So, Natalie, you could have left. Oh, you wanted to be super ac accurate. That's like the number without an engineering notation. So, you could have said 4.08 times 10 to the seventh power. And what is that measured in, Natalie? That is measured in. Um, hold on, hold on. <laughs> in velocity. No. What is velocity measured in? Oh, cool. Nope. It says it up there. Look at your dimensions. Tesla, I guess. Tesla, Tesla. Huh? Tesla. Meters per second. Tesla is B field, Natalie. All right, so 10 points and five points for Shakira. Uh, Natalie got the answer. She just forgot. We're in speed, meters per second. And that is all she wrote, okay? So please. Please write all your steps down as best you can. Uh, quickly, because we need to hurry up and do our simulation shots. You got her? Thank you, Nelly. All right, so, you're gonna have all this. These are like your first party notes. You cling over here and write all these notes. And that's it. Great job. Did you, Shakira, you should look up here or something to figure it out, or you just knew? <laughs> okay. Oh,